I know it's going to sound crazy, but you can read all this in a book by John Mitchell, M-I-C-H-E-L-L, called The Dimensions of Paradise. Lucifer is actually the good guy, and that the Christian pantheon threw him out because they were the bad guys. So they've reversed the whole biblical scenario and said, hey, this angel of light, who was God's most bright angel, was the good guy all along, and he got thrown out because he knew the secret of the, the tree of knowledge. Hence, they go all the way back to the account of Adam and Eve in the Bible and say that we should have eaten from the tree of good and evil, the knowledge of good and evil, that we never should have been banned from eating it. And the reason why this evil God stopped us from eating from the tree is because he wants to keep us repressed. He wants to keep us sexually uh, inoculated. He wants to keep us free from any real knowledge that would threaten his power. Right. This well, is this you know, was actually, I mean, positive in at the root. This is the weird thing. Yeah, about I'm not. It. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying that, in fact, the 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 Gnostic Christians knew that Christianity was going to become a negative force, and that's why when you go into the Book of Revelation and you're reading about the Antichrist, it doesn't say six 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 is the number. It actually says six hundred three score thirty and six. And before that little passage, it says, For he who hath ears, let him hear. Now, to anybody who's a Kabbalist, meaning somebody who knows the secret magical tradition, when it says that little phrase, For he who hath ears, let him hear, it means take the numerical value of each letter and add them up. And the number that you get from this passage is the secret code. So when you add up the passage that describes the Antichrist and the number of the beast as being 666, the number it adds up to is 3160. And that number in the secret code is Lord Jesus Christ. And I know it's going to sound crazy, but you can read all this in a book by John Mitchell, M-I-C-H-E-L-L, called The Dimensions of Paradise. And when you actually go through the account of the Antichrist in the Bible, what it says is that the Antichrist would be wounded on the side and yet did live fashioned into an idol to be worshipped by all peoples and all nations of all tongues. And there is nothing else we see in the world except the mainstream fundamentalist Christianity that fits that. So they knew <coughs> they knew that the original positive message of Yehoshua, who's actually the real name of Jesus, bastardized into the name Jesus. Yehoshua's teachings were positive. They taught service to others. They said, love thy neighbor. They didn't say love thy neighbor, provide that he's not a faggot, or that he's not, you know, and I've used that derogatory term for a reason, because these guys have totally lost touch with the golden rule. As long as you're not having an abortion, as long as you don't oppose your country invading other countries, then you're in God's chosen. Well, that's totally negative, and everybody sees that now. So it was seen long in advance that you were going to have this faction that would emerge that would use the name of Christianity to do unspeakable acts of evil. They are the fulfillment They are the fulfillment of the prophecy encoded in the Bible through gematria, which is the science of adding up numbers out of the letters, which the Antichrist passage adds up to 3160, which translates as Lord Jesus Christ. I know it's going to sound crazy, but you can read all this.